The Haunted Hollows update came out for Rock League today, and with it came new golden gifts, known as golden pumpkins this time around. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to farm these gifts the most easy and efficient way possible. But before we do that, though, if you find this tutorial at all helpful, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. And if you get anything from the Rocket League item shop, make sure you use a sport credit code. It's a friend of a zero. And without being said, let's get right into this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do a casual ones or competitive ones. Just make sure you're playing on a 1v1 mode. All right, and once you get into a match, you're just going to want to play this out. And pretty much all you're going to do is just forfeit once the game hits four minutes. So you don't want to score on your opponent a lot, but so that way, or just get scored on, I guess. You don't want to score a lot of points so that way your opponent leaves the four, four minute mark. And you can't leave now because it just says leave match. Once it hits four minutes, that's when the forfeit option comes up. I'm going to demo. Okay. All right, four minutes. So you're going to go in and forfeit the match. Say GG and get out of here. GG is optional, but I would say GG because that's just nice. Check your view challenges, and there you go. You went from one to two, or however many you had, plus one. And just repeat the process until you have all five golden gifts. If you wanted to get real creative with this, back in 2021, I made a video where I went on an alt account and played 2v2s and just did this exact same method so I could double my golden gift rate. So I was getting 10 golden gifts in 100 matches instead of five, and all 100 matches only took like a minute, minute and a half, so that's if you want to get real creative with it, but if you just want to do it for your one account, then just go to a casual or competitive ones if you don't care about your rank then you can do competitive ones if you want but honestly casual works just fine you just can't leave until it says forfeit match because if you leave before that then it won't actually count as a match and this does work on every one of these modes except maybe not the limited time modes i don't think you can forfeit at ltm but the problem being is you have to be dependent on your random teammate forfeiting as well so 1v1 is just the most consistent way to do that because you don't have to worry about anyone else forfeiting it's just yourself forfeiting and yeah just repeat that process 99 more times <laughs> it sounds like a lot but honestly it's two weeks of this event so you got two weeks weeks of grindy challenges if you only do this 10 times a day then within 10 days you have all your matches done and if you do this method it probably won't take you more than like a half an hour that's how i would do it at least but with that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video if you found it all helpful make sure to drop a like subscribe once again be sure to use my code in front of zero in the item shop and make sure to check out my discord links in the description and yeah see you guys in the next video peace